Hey guys, it's Jude. This is my fifth attempt at this video, and my dog, Kuma, the cutest fucking thing in the world. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. My little beating heart. It's getting cranky because it is... But I figured I'd make an introduction video, um, and talk about a couple of the topics that people had wanted me to talk about. Um, I came out as trans three weeks ago to mostly just my friends and the queer community here and online. Um, my family I'm still working on, so if anyone has any tips on coming out to them, slash mostly my mom, because uh, I already expect to lose my extended family, which is fine. Um, but I just want to, I don't know, come out in the best way possible to my mom, because I'm very much a mama's boy and she's very important to me. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any tips, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, so yeah, first topic, uh, Music Gets Me High wanted me to talk about how I knew I was trans. And to make a long story short, once I came to college, I started playing with my masculine anymore. Um, I was already pretty masculine. Um, but I just started getting more comfortable with everything and slowly easing into everything. And I got my first binder three and a half to four years ago. Um, and the first time I put it on, I knew I wanted to wear it every day for the rest of however long I had boobs. Uh, so I did. Um, and it just felt right. And it wasn't until the last few months I really started thinking about going by a different name and questioning whether or not that I maybe was trans and something more than gender fucked, gender queer, gender variant, non-binary, bi-gender, however many other words there are for somewhere else on the spectrum. Um, and I started talking to people online and I was going by June on Tumblr to people that I communicated with quite a bit. and. I kind of talked to my friends about it, but I never actually told them to call me Jude or use male pronouns. And then uh, this really fantastic girl who is now my girlfriend, because I am a lucky fucking boy, um, when we hung out again for the first time, because that's a complicated story. Not complicated, but weird. Um, she asked what I went by, and I told her that everyone still called me Mana, but I was thinking about going by Jude and male pronouns, and she was like, all right, got it, Jude and male pronouns, and I mean... It made me blush, and it made me feel good, and it made me happy, and I started talking to my therapist about it more, and she started calling me Jude, and that's what the office calls me now, and it just felt right, and it felt good, um, so that's when I was like, hey, friends, you know, made an Instagram post, put it on Tumblr, on Twitter, um, and I was like, hey, guys, you know, Jude, male pronoun, uh, please, and I now identify as a trans guy, um, and... My friends have been really supportive, and they're trying their hardest. For some of them, it's harder than others. Like my best friends know me for ten years, but she's doing her best. Everyone's doing their best, and they're awesome. And I fucking love all you guys. Um, so that's how I knew. I just took baby steps, and I eased into it, and I just went with what felt comfortable and what made me happy and feel good. And so that that's the only way I can explain it. Sorry if that wasn't really good. Uh, the sep second topic that I was asked to cover is for Rusty, who I talked to quite a bit on Twitter. Um, he wants to know what it's like to live life as a pre-T trans man. Um, and considering I haven't been out for very long, I don't know how much I can cover this, but um, I'm fortunate enough to pass at least 80% of the time, if not more. Um, I at least confuse people or they just approach me in a gender non-specific manner. Um, which works for me too. Um, being pretty sucks. I don't have any chance of growing facial hair at this moment. Uh, growing my armpit hair is a really long process. And I did previously shave every day, so this is kind of a pain for me. Um, I still shave my legs because I can't even like grow hair on half my legs and it just looks bad. And I'm pale, so it looks even worse. And, um, I try to deepen my voice when I'm around people, um, which I just realized I actually do. <laughs> I didn't notice that I was doing that. Um, I've experimented with packing by sticking a sock down my underwear 
but I haven't bought a packer yet, and I've only done that in public once. Um, so being, I mean, pre-tea sucks, obviously, and I would like to be able to transition sometime in the near future, but I don't know. Uh, so Rusty, I don't know what else to say. Um, if you have any other questions, I can talk to you about it. Um, we can discuss it together. Uh, I can make another video, whatever. Um, this is already five minutes long, and I apologize for how awkward I am, but I'm Jude, and you guys are fantastic if you're watching.